Hi guys, Ivan and Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Uh, Perth viewers will probably know where this is. It's the only drive-in theatre in Perth in existence today and still operational by the way. We're 20 kilometres north of the Perth CBD and we're in a suburb called Kingsley. Now Kingsley's got 13,000 residents and built on a area of about 7.5 square kilometers and this year is the drive-in theater in Kingsley and you can see the screen over there this theater over here is still in operation today I think um, well it is the only one in the in the um, Perth metropolitan metropolitan area I think there might be one in in Geraldton I'm not 100% sure and uh, you'd hate to be this house over here, or these houses over here, because they butt on to the, to the drive-in theatre over here. And behind, this, behind these trees over here, guys, is another pretty big flash house, and he'll cop all the noise. But the drive-in theatre um, was here before the houses, so the drive-in theatre gets right of way, so to speak. Well, in saying that, guys, we're going to take you around Kingsley and show you around. So we'll head off to another part of Kingsley shortly and show you guys. So, guys, we're, um, we're in Kingsley, and this year is a big lake right in the middle of Kingsley. And it's called Lake uh, Gulalol. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, decent sized lake. There's also a lot of houses across the road there, if you can see. Um, so those houses over there, some of them will get nice lake views. But as usual, we've got a lot of scrub um, between the lake and the houses. So um, This is all natural bush and stuff. So they probably won't remove it. Look at these ducks over here. There's a couple of them. Just um, sitting over there, or oh, they've, ju they've just jumped in the water now because they've heard us coming. Uh, there's also a lot of signs over here, guys, talking about snakes. Beware of snakes. So it is snake season now because the snakes love the heat, and we've had a lot of heat in Perth. It's the 3rd of December, uh, sorry, the 3rd of February today, um, 2024. And uh, the last week we had massive temperatures, guys, between 40 and 45 degrees Celsius. So pretty warm weather here in Perth. They called it a heat wave. Now have a look at this, guys. This is Lake Gulalol. Pretty, pretty interesting lake. Look at that um, crow over there. <laughs> He's being attacked by a tiny bird called the Willy wa Wagtail. And uh, the willy wagtails are quite ferocious little things, those willy wagtails. And uh, he, he's trying to attack the crow. Look at that. He's trying. The crow's um, just moving aside. And anyway, there's a lot of bird life over here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's a lot of uh, swans and ducks and all sorts of birds. Um, on that lake, on Lake Gulalol. I don't know, if there, there must be some sort of fish in there. Or there'd be frogs for sure. So this is right in the, in the heart of uh, Kingsley in Perth, Western Australia. What a beautiful lake. Never been here before, guys. Didn't know this, well, knew it existed, because you can see it on maps and stuff, but um, didn't know it's such, a, such an impressive. There's a lot of bird life. You can see it all out there. All the, all the birds over there in the middle, that's all birds over there. They're everywhere. And these little willy wagtails, they're everywhere. They're trying to, uh, like I said, they're quite ferocious little things probably trying to prove a point that they're so small and they can attack a big crow. Must have 
Um, small man syndrome, small bird syndrome. There you go. So a few, um, few huge uh, birds just flew past. We tried to get it on film, but I think they've landed and we missed it. But these ducks are still here, guys. Yeah, they're over here. Right over there. And then there's a crow over there. He's just sitting there watching us, hoping the willy wagtail doesn't attack him. So we might just head out of here and, and show you around Kings there, what, what else Kings there has got to uh, offer. So guys, we're just on one of the streets over here in um, Kingsley. And um, we'll just take a, a walk down here and uh, show you guys the standard of houses here. Mind you, the suburb was approved in 1974. So um, the houses are reasonably old. But what I have noticed as we walk down the street is that people are keeping their houses very neat. Very, the garden's all nice and neat. There's a few new houses here, guys. So uh, maybe the older ones have been demolished and people have built some new houses. Here's, I can see about three of them over here in a row. Three reasonably new houses. So a little bit of history on Kingsley, guys. The suburb of Kingsley is named after the village of Kingsley, which is near Winchester in Hampshire, England. So who would have known that? The name was chosen for their historical association with the first owner of land in the area, William Kerno Shenton. So the suburb, like I said, was approved in 1974. So it goes back a bit. There was also a winery near Lake Gulalol, which is just over there, across those playing fields there. Or um, open area there. Just in there, the lake is where we just showed you guys. So there's a winery over there. And that winery was operated from 1929 to 1986. So it was uh, operated for a long time. It was also once one of the largest wineries in the southern hemisphere. How cool is that? Look at that nice car, guys. It's a Corvette, I think. So, um, that winery, that is interesting. Having a winery right here in suburbia. And um, all these houses over here, guys, the street we're walking along, um, they'll get views of that um, grassed area across there. And they might even get lake views depending how high up they are because there's quite a bit of trees growing in front of that lake over there it's not a bad looking lake actually it's quite nice so have a look down here guys there's, this here is like a pathway going through here and there's houses behind that and those houses are all built up quite high over there so um They'll get some, some good views from on top there. So all in all, um, so far Kingsley looks quite good. Although it's an old area, it looks um, fairly decent. People are, people are looking after their houses over here. That park over there though, next to this house, doesn't look that crash hot. I don't know if it's supposed to just be like that. But, um, Council should be looking after that a bit more. It is a park. It's called um, Talbot Park. There it is there. And Kingsley's in the city of Joondalup. So the city of Joondalup isn't really looking after that very well, unless it's supposed to be like that. Uh, no grass in there. Maybe it's supposed to be like that because there's a lot of trees there. And then there's a path leading up there to somewhere. Don't know where that goes. But um, we'll, um, we'll take you to the next area of Kingsley now that we want to show you guys. So we'll see you there shortly. So guys, this here is the Kingsley Shopping Centre. 
you can see the main tenant in there is IGA and there's a hell of a lot of specialty shops in there. There's also a big dome cafe just uh, across the road there with that, um, you can just see the word D-O and part of the M there. It's um, quite a decent size actually that, cafe, that dome cafe. Um, the, it's a bustling little shopping centre this guys. There's a lot of um, cars there, I just, um, I just snagged a uh, car bay in there. I like reversing into my car bays and I was about to reverse in and this guy come up behind me and he tried to squeeze in. <laughs> that's, how, that's how tightly held these car bays are over here. <laughs> so he reversed out because he saw what I'm doing. So um, it's also a tavern here guys, that's the tavern across there. Appropriately named the Kingsley Tavern. Thou shall not be thirsty. There you go. Good on them. They know how to um, serve you in there. They won't let you go thirsty. So guys, we're just walking down another little street here in front of the shopping centre. Just to show you another part of um, Kingsley over here. And um, <coughs> there's... Um, there's five primary schools in, in Kingsley, guys. And believe it or not, I mentioned this because I thought it's quite a lot. There's four churches in the suburb. So uh, quite a few churches. There's a nice double story house across there, right in front of the Kingsley Tavern. He's got the right idea. He doesn't have to walk very far at all. I think they're a group of units or duplexes there because it looks like another one just straight behind that. So um, obviously an old house has been demolished over there and a couple of um, double storey duplexes gone up in there or houses, a couple of double storey houses. It's also a petrol station over here guys uh, right next to the tavern. So um, the closest train station to Kingsley is the Whitford train station. And there's a bus running to and from the train station. So you can catch the bus out here and it'll take you to the train station. So um, a few smaller houses along here guys as you can see. Just to give you a different um, Different, air, different parts of Kingsley, I guess. There's also a, um, I think that's a childcare centre across there. I'm not sure. Yep, no, I don't. That's a childcare centre across there. Early school, they're calling it these days. So, um, that's quite a, that's quite a good looking childcare centre. Look how big it is. It's huge. Double story, they've got like a playing area on top there. There's gardens on top. It's quite impressive actually. Quite an impressive childcare centre. There's also um, sporting fields across here, guys. This isn't too far from the tavern. The tavern's just a minute's walk down the other way there. And you've got these sporting fields. There's a game of cricket going on in there. And uh, there's a couple of guys playing tennis over there. It's quite muggy, a muggy morning here in Perth. Not as hot as it was during the week. But um, today's going to reach about 30 degrees Celsius in Perth, in Western Australia. So guys, um, just taking you down another little um, side street over here in Kingsley. What do you guys think of Kingsley so far? I think it's not a bad area for, for an old area. It's reasonably old. You know, these houses date back to the 70s and 80s. And um, people are keeping their gardens reasonably neat over here. And this one on the left here, yeah. it's quite a nice, nice lawn, nice, um, nicely pruned um, trees and stuff over here. 
Yeah, it's looking quite good. Let us know in the comments below what you think of, of Kingsley. Um, 20 kilometers north of the Perth CBD. Not too far, far from the beach, guys. So, um, I'll let you know about the... There was only... Um, the only house with a price because some of these real estate agents that don't list their prices of the houses, they want you to contact them, then they've sort of got you roped in and they can talk better. So the only house we saw with a price was listed between 880,000 and 940,000 Australian dollars. And it was on a 680 square meter block. So the blocks are quite, um, blocks are quite big out here. There's like a, little, a block there. I don't know if that's just a vacant area, council land or whatever, I don't know. Um, this house is on a 680 square meter block. It's a four by two by two. And it's on a, it's on a main road, guys. I'm pretty sure this is a main road. 190, yeah, that'll be a main road. Bar Barradale Drive, Kingsley. And they ask you to, between, like I said, 880,000 and 940,000 Australian dollars. So, um, quite a hefty price tag out here in Kingsley. Took a while for the suburb to take off. And uh, there has been um, a lot of talk about the suburb recently in real estate circles the way it's going to take off and that, and it certainly has taken off. So, um, I might just get to the, to the median house price over here. Look at that, guys. Nice sign there. like that. So, guys, the median house price over here in Kingsley. There's another park over there. Must admit, the parks aren't kept that well, guys. City of Joondalup ain't keeping their parks very, very neat. Look at that, that looks a bit run down. Anyway, it's up to the City of Joondalup. Lift your game, City of Joondalup. There you go. Ivers whinge of the day. Uh, guys, the median house price over here is 775,000 Australian dollars. And the median unit price over here this is probably the scruffiest house I've seen so far. Check this out. Not neat at all. Gee. Look at, look at the crap. Look at this, guys. It's shocking. You can just about see the house there. It's not good at all. Oh, each to their own. I'd hate to be this neighbour, yeah, because these houses kept reasonably neat. So, um... Median unit price is 450,000 Australian dollars and the median land price in this area is quite hefty guys 355,000 Australian dollars So In saying that I might just wrap it up over here in Kingsley in Perth Western Australia What do you guys think of Kingsley? I thought it's quite a decent area except for the house behind me uh, in front of me over there it's a shocker. I don't know where that one came from. It must be a rental. I don't know. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching our, our videos. And hopefully you're enjoying it. Leave some comments below. And um, we'd also like to thank um, everyone who's bought us a coffee. So uh, thank you for that. We have got a, um, a PayPal account. So if you want to buy us a coffee, you're quite welcome to. Uh, we'll probably use it to buy a a nice cold drink anyway in this heat in Perth, a can of coke or something and um, we appreciate you watching our videos and um, we'll see you in the next one